Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. I think I don't know if there's any better way of starting an episode than a stray kitten getting slaughtered. <laughs> I think more Dwarf Fortress than that. Uh, anyways, I think what I want to do is make sure we get this uh, this, this tavern completed and uh, certainly get the walls uh, done uh, and, and see if that makes a difference. At the moment, it is it is not, but, well, it, it may in, in the long run. So, uh, we, have, we do have lots of blocks. Maybe we should just do the Dolomite. Around the place, I really wanted to do gold. I did really want to do gold. How is our gold looking? Oh, we do have some gold blocks. Gold bars, I should say. Um, well, we're going to do this anyway. So let's go ahead and mine out a bit of this. And let's just see what happens. We'll see how much uh, room we actually, how many bars we actually have to build. If if that is nowhere near enough bars in order to do that, to do that then... We may just do Dolomite, but it would really be so cool to have a golden tavern. And that's what this game's all about, is cool golden taverns and poor Thob getting his head bashed. Uh, we have nothing... Is it? Why is... Why do we have no seeds? We have no, no seeds for these either? Uh, well, it's not a big deal. We know, we know what the problem is, so I'm not too concerned about it. We only have 20 seeds. But as soon as our drink goes low, then we'll start... We'll start doing some more uh, plump helmet brewing. I do have a few of these are still... We have bananas. Oh, it must have come from the elves. Cool. Can I grow a banana tree? Do bana grow bananas grow on trees, right? Carambolas, which I don't know what that is. Durians. Finger millet plants. Oops. Dates. Uh, what else we got down here? So, plump helmets and pomegranates. Cool. Rambutan, sand, parrot. Those must have all come from the from the elves. All right, so we will eventually we'll we'll lose some drink and then we'll start squeezing some plump helmets and we'll have seeds back again. So no worries, that's nothing to be concerned with. Uh, make soap from tallow, hooray! Uh, do it. We want to uh, automate. That's the wrong button. Bars of soap. We want five to ten is not enough. Uh, I think it's like seven fifty in the place, isn't it? Is that we have a we have a hundred and seventeen bars of soap? Did the elves give us soap? I think seven fifty is the number that we want. I believe. Uh, let's take a look at our our uh, our doctor's office here. What do you say, doctor's office? Uh, well, we can just do it this way. Uh, no, not that way. Not that way. We can do it. I. I is the button I'm looking for. Yeah, it says we need 750 so soap. It says we have none, but the other thing said we did have some. So I don't. I don't know. We also need powder for casts, which we would get from something. Uh, we have to mine some things and get like gypsum. I think gypsum is is a uh, one that would work. Are you doing it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Waiting for construction of attraction bench, which we think we ha we have it set to, to do. It's just not done yet. We have a golden statue. Right, right. The Zazgim camp cake statue, which I think needs to go out front of our base. We need to let everyone know who we find worthy of this place. It's not a support. We want a statue. We're going to put it, let's see. I think we can put it like right out here. I want uh, X. Yes, we want the one of Zazgim. Zazgim. Stand tall in front of our base. Zazgim camp cake. The almighty one. So, if we get a golden wall... Let me just see. How many golden bars do we have? We have 30. Mm. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it. We need to just we need more gold bars, but we can do it. Sorry about your room, Julio. I mean, kind of. So I've been doing some reading. I, I was on. I think I saw this on the Dwarf Fortress Facebook page. Someone mentioned uh, building a zoo out of the animals they have, which sounds like a really cool idea. I I don't quite understand how he did it or what the way he did it, 
Um, I'm assuming, I don't think he left him in, I would assume he didn't leave him in cages. I didn't get, he didn't explain too well. Um, but that could be something interesting. What if we like, we can't dig a hole here because it's, it's there. But I wonder if there's a way maybe of digging like an area over here and, and having like pens for our animals. So leave them, let them, get them out of the cages and, uh, like wall them off. We can put like fortifications so it's sort of like a zoo sort of thing. That would be kind of cool to do. I don't know how well it would come out. But it might be cool. Oh, our doors got moved, didn't it? Yeah, oops. Well, let's let's start the wall a bit. Uh, I mean, box select. So let's go there, and we're going to make it out of gold. Fire clay. Golden bars. I'm not sure that we... We, we don't have enough at the moment, but but we will. We have, we have plenty of plenty of gold. Um, right around... Let's go here. Let's see if we can find a few more metals. We still have no iron-bearing ore, which is silly. So let's dig out a little bit of this and see if we can find some limonite or something. Let's say hematite, limonite. Uh, there's one other. Is, is there only three that are iron bearing? I don't remember. But this map does does have it. I think I, I think it has shallow metals, not in the the haunted area, but in the this this northern friendlier area. I believe I'm almost positive it has shallow metals. I know it had all the good stuff. And shallow metals is certainly the good stuff. Outrageous! We have no seeds. You know what? We didn't want to farm any. Anyway. What does the yellow down arrow mean? Uh, let me pull this up. Um, Looking uh, dwarf fortress wiki. Yellow down arrow. What does it mean? What does it mean? It means... Hungry. Wait, I thought hungry was brown. What well, is kind of brownish yellow. That's like a bright yellow, though. Are they hungry? Oh, they, I bet you they are hungry. Yeah, I guarantee you that's what the problem is. Because I don't have enough, enough uh, area for them. Why would the dogs be hungry, though? What can we do about that? Can we, should we let them uh, f free range? Oh, I have to redo it all, don't I? Uh, so remove all of this. Where's my cursor at? There it is. No, wrong one. X. X. Thank you. Remove that one. And then remove this one. And we'll redo it. Um, man, I just don't want... Uh, hmm. We're gonna have to just... I just we're gonna have to do outside. Doesn't seem safe. It's as big as I can get it. Alright, so those of you that need to be out here, just the three of you, get why the dogs are cranky. I do have um, a zone here. Animal training. I do need to have a few dogs in here. I guess I had a lot of dogs that were set up to be staying here. So let's, let's keep the war dog, and there's a couple of them. We'll just keep... I don't have all my war dogs in there. Oh, we have a bunch. So we'll make sure we have a female and a male. Well, there's a female there and a male. And we have just one more one. Three dogs should be enough to keep an eye on. I just you have to keep dogs around. Well, I like keeping them around. They'll they'll keep an eye on the kobolds and make sure they don't cause a ruckus or anything. Um, is there anything speaking of ruckuses? A rattlesnake. 
and always on the hill. Oh, okay. He could potentially be be pretty nasty. We have what's this a lizard? A lizard. I ain't too frightened of lizards. There's some fish coming in. So that should be good enough for you. I'm so, I don't get why the dogs are are hungry. Dogs should be fine. There it is. Look at it. Look at it. It's so amazing. Uh, I can't. Sadly, can't, I can't engrave this, can I? Wish I could. Can I engrave the sand? No. That's a bummer. I can't engrave stone. That's what I'm looking for right now. Which is a bummer, but it's still really cool because it's gold. So let's do that. And then oh, we're going to be a little careful here because we have doors. Golden bars. And we'll go over this way with our golden bars. And let's make sure we get Julio's room patched back up. Sorry, buddy. You gotta, I, I think what you're getting in place of what you had is worth the, the headaches. That should be gold and right there. There we go. So Julio will be in better shape. Actually, Julio isn't the one right here. And here, isn't he? Oh, sorry, Julio. Let's do something like that. Gold bar. Right there. Okay. And then we gotta fix these doors. Is that one still okay? No. Oh, we need a Jason Jason wall, right? We struck malachite. Um, wait, malachite. No, malachite is just a colorful one. What is this? What is this? Fish? Why? Whose room is this? Core and Havocs. Why? What's with all the fish? Look at this. This is a room full of fish. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> so apparently Core and Havocs are married. Cake Lord loves his fish as well. Shad and a steelhead trout and uh, a cabinet. Wait. Why does it say Bill Nye? Oh, is Bill Nye standing there? Oh, Bill Nye's right here. And what's this over here? A turkey leg? A chopped dog liver. Hmm. So, our nobles, we have Poet here, who who does need uh, some things. He needs lots of things. Uh, we should probably do something about that. Which one of these offices did I give to Poet? I think I gave him this one. Am I right? Yes, Poet. Oh, Poet. Um, do you want your own dining room, buddy? There you go. There you go, buddy. Make sure these are all correct. Silencer and Bob. Okay. Um, so we need to dig out. I think we, we should come through here. I'll make like a hallway. So he needs an office and um, that's pretty much it, I think. We just need to build some jail cells. Something like that. We'll do. We'll just do a couple of them. I'm sure we're good people. I mean, maybe the occasional fish thievery or something, but that's... Other than that, I'm sure we're fine. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Let's zoom in. Zoom in. <laughs> Not that it looks any different, but there is the golden statue of Zazgim Camp Cake. It's never has it been a more beautiful sculpture. <laughs> the deity of family and pregnancy, depicted as a male dwarf in gold by Kor. He is contemplating. Milk quartz. Cool. Ooh, look at the Jaltas. Jaltas. Let's go kill them. As long as we move together, they shouldn't be a problem. Jaltas are pretty weak. Who's this? Core? What season is it? Summer. Summer. What's going on here? Why, why are we just standing around? Oh, we're stationed. Do we not uh, automatically kill Drothas? We have to. We have to manage our SOP. Um, kill. We'll just do it from a list, and we'll do E F G and H. Good job, guys. 
They don't seem to be fighting back. <laughs> what is this? Core. And oh, you got him. Oh, there's a couple of them over here. Oh, what is this? Is this open space? Is it? It's on this level. There it is. No, it's open space too. Troglodyte right hand. Oh, is a troglodyte over here? Nicely done, guys. Oh, there's another. There's a troglodyte right there. Did we kill them all? Guess we did. Good job, guys. Troglodytes are here, though. How many we got? Oh, there's a few. Oh, an adder. An adder is an adder. Uh, is an adder an angry kind of snake? Small snake with rigid scales and powerful venomous bike. Uh, bite. I don't think she has a bike. All right. Well, should we go deal with the troglodytes, or we just give them a breather? I'm eager to uh, check out this again. See just how well our military is working. Look at the soap being made. Is it going into where we want it to go into? Why isn't that traction vents being made? So many questions. Soap. Hey, we got 750 soap. Nice. Um, now, are you making too much soap? You are doing it actively. That's the wrong button. Now, see, that one says I have 160, so that's clearly not how much we want. Okay, you can stop there. There you go. Clearly, we have enough soap. Is this also... <laughs> we have lots of dogs, so... Okay, okay, so maybe, maybe I did the wrong... <laughs> My number's wrong. Um, yeah. You can have a bin, though. Want a bin? There you go. Put that soap in a bin. Look at all the leather we have. Ooh, we need a bigger stockpile of leather. And we need to work on some leather gear. Uh, what should we make out of leather? We have, we're making, we made, I think, leather leggings. We should also make, um, what does a leather backpack do for me? I don't know. I'll make a leather cloak, that's cool. We'll be like a Sith Lord. Make like five of those. And we can also make, not leader, leather bags. Make some of those. And what else do we want with leather? We have leather boots, uh, a leather earring, leather bracelet, leather water skin. Leather mittens. Okay, that's good for now. Oh, this is the song. I know this song. I know this song. Let's put our doors back over here. Oh, you know, we need door we need golden doors. Gold uh, Q. Gold door. Rose gold is like a combination of, of of gold and the copper stuff that we have. Uh we don't need that many. Let's just do the two for now. For this one, we're not gonna put golden doors in the bedrooms. That's just silly. We'll put a door right there. We've got two buzzards, a couple of chinchillas, undead chinchillas, some animals. I mean, this is a this is a very cool tavern. I don't know why people don't want to visit us. Julio, what is going on? Oh, you're, you're Kisho, human poet. Are you telling me stories? See, now I have... So you're doing an individual combat drill. Why is no one watching you do the combat drill? Hmm. Oh, maybe, um, let's, see, let's see what you're doing here. Socializing. Uh, can I see your activity? Yep. Um, let's check on our military here. So right now we've got... Our schedule is for three people minimum to be training. They're not. Really. Hmm. You should be up top here. There's Core. Core's doing the training. 
Good job, buddy. We have the archery target, which we are using to train individual equip. I can't really equip there. But whatever. Choose direction. Oh, shoot this way. Um, top to bottom. Okay. And then... That's good. We need some sort of like a target, like a, a combat dummy. Which I don't know where that would be. I wonder if I should put some kennels down below. I think I can make a combat dummy of some kind. I'm, I'm almost positive that I can. I don't know how... Where it is though. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I thought that was a thing. I could be crazy, but a, a, a masterpiece golden door. Oh my. Yes. Do it again, Fudge Lame. Look, our, it's starting, starting to come together. Look at all the gold. Do I have another golden table? I do. I have two more. Do I have a golden chair? No, I don't. Oh, golden door. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You can sit right here. Watch out. Don't get bit by the, the, uh, the cougar. I bite your butt while you're sitting there. This should not be suspended. So we, yeah, we have all flooring in here. Oh, there's the golden doors. Beautiful. Um, golden walls, I'm sorry. Dolomite door for Julio. The golden door has been completed. It's not his masterpiece like the other one, but I'll forgive you, buddy. Unless it was, I just missed it. Nope. See, now that dog's hungry, too. Have cats give birth, give 32 births. We have a human caravan here. Now, something I've been thinking. We'll see how many people are here. But what, what would happen? I've never tried this. I don't think I've ever seen this either. Uh, if I close, if my traders are in here and I close the gate. And then we go kill them. There's a bunch of them. We probably can't do that. There's a lot of them. Alright, so we won't do that with them. But if the elves come back, that's something to think about. Some wait for them. Uh, actually, I should have some things here to trade. What do I want to give you? I have lots of fish. We love fish here. We love them so much, we put them in our beds. But you can have some fish. You filthy humans like like uh, fish? I don't have a lot of seeds, so <laughs> I hope you're not coming for that. Uh, Road arrows. Uh, we do have some leather. Do I still have, like, the lots of, of large, large, no. We have any meals? No. We have golden, we have golden hives. Where are they? Oh, we have golden coins. Oh, that's right. Do those. Apparently I have a golden sarcophagus. I'm going to save, I'm going to auto-save real quick. Actually, I need to put a cut here. Um, we'll deal with the trading real quick before I cut, though. But we'll do an autosave. I want to put the sarcophagus out here. Build in. I think I have one. Yep. And make sure that this is... Make tomb. There we go. This will all be a tomb. Okay. I'm going to be on the roof. Uh, we gotta call Bill. Bill! Oh no, it's Peter now, right? Peter is now my traitor. We're trying to gain some wealth. We're at tw 28, uh, 288 grand for our wealth. That's, that's not too bad. Do I have anything other than these golden hives? Oh, we do have, we have seven dolomite. Oh, 
I'm using my golden ones, aren't I? Dang it. It's alright, some of them are going to be really cool. Now, why am I putting them here and not against the wall? I don't know. Um, oh, 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 oh. I almost completely forgot. I gotta do this. Uh, so, I think the problem with my mead production is I don't have any jugs. I, th I guess we use the jugs whenever we... we um, not jug. Jug. Uh, whenever we make the honey, I guess they just get spent. So, we need to make some jugs of some kind. Clay jugs are really cool, but we can just do stone for now. I do want to do clay eventually. Oh, we make wooden jugs. And rock jugs. Yeah. Make like 50 of them. Or 30. Our leather cloaks are here. Cool. Are you here, buddy? Nope. Hurry up. We'll see what they have to trade us. And then we will. Did you guys notice the statue as you came in? Did you notice? Start making an order. Maybe we should make things pass through here. Some sort of, uh... Must kiss the toes of Zazgim Camp Cake on your way to the fort. It's very important. Alright, so... The question is... Do we want to trade? I did bring things to trade. Or do we just steal? They have, they have some people with them. mine. Take what you wish. I can't stop you. That's right. That's right you can't. Now see, so, you know, we could close this gate and just let them all starve in there. And then I would get all of their gear. They could they could break this door down, probably. What's in here? Let's, I'm, I'm going to put a cut and, uh, and debate what we want to do here. Um, so we could close the door. They will stay in. I should have closed the door first, but I think I can get it before they leave. They don't They don't usually leave immediately. They will be leaving soon. They're not leaving yet. So we close the gate. Uh, they can't climb up because there's a ceiling above them. We, If we want, we could even build a wall right here. Uh, that way they can't get out because they'll probably break that door down pretty easily. Um, and then we just let them all starve in there. And once they're dead, we... Remove the wall, go in, and take their gear. Because these are well-armed humans. Um, we got to get make sure we get Peter out of there. They do wear large gear, though. That, that is the problem. Hmm. Anyways, I will debate. And uh, see you next time.